Hi there. Today we are going to build this cool little O scale detail from Interaction Hobbies. It is our kit, O5033. It is comprised of laser cut basswood and laser board parts. It goes together quickly once you have everything painted. Start by cutting all the parts free of the carrier sheet. Score the tabs on both sides to make them easier to remove and clean up. Sand the little attachment nubs flush with the part's edge. This will make assembly much tighter and cleaner. These double-sided nail files are very handy for this type of work and are available readily on places like Amazon. To make painting easier, take a strip of double-sided sticky tape and apply it to some scrap wood for a holder. Then stick your parts to the holder and get ready for painting. A good way to make your plastic paint palettes last longer is to wrap them in tin foil. This makes it easy to remove and dispose of hardened paint. Don't forget to remove the door frame on the front face panel. It will make it easier to paint and to install the clear glazing layer. Now cover your exposed surfaces with a primer coat of white paint. Thinning acrylic paint with a bit of water will make for a smoother finish. You could spray the parts with an airbrush or rattle can primer. Or you can brush it on as we are doing here. Oh crap! Here's an idea. Let's use makeup sponges to apply a smooth finish with no streaking. Dab a bit of paint on the sponge and blot it on paper or a napkin. With a random dabbing motion, cover the part with paint. Change the angle of your sponge frequently to ensure better coverage. Do not saturate your sponge with paint. You want it slightly dry so the paint is not beating up on the part. Now it is time to paint the other colors over your nice white canvas. Again, thin your acrylic paint slightly with water to make it carry better over the part. Start a bit away from the edges where the color transitions and carefully work your way towards them. This will ensure a clean straight line. Rotate the part so that you are in a comfortable position and work the paint towards you. Always pull the paint along the line you want. Remember, sneak up on the transition line between colors, slowly working towards the edge. Use a fine brush to fill those tough corners to finish up a section. Taking your time will ensure a striking model that holds up to the toughest scrutiny. Paint the coin slot strip a light tan color. Paint the vent grille and window frame with chrome silver. Finish up by painting the door with chrome silver. Now it's time to glue up the body, layer by layer. Start at the back of the body and work your way forward in the sequence shown. Though there are quite a number of parts, they all add depth and dimension to the finished product. Make sure each piece is parallel to the part before it by squaring it on your work surface. As Clark would say, Clean up your glue mess along the way. Send out any slight misalignments so that the outer panels will seat squarely with the body. Apply a bit of black paint or use a marker to black out the area behind the bottle opener and coin return. Now glue the front face panel to the body as we are doing here. Glue the side panels on both sides of the body. Keep them flush with the bottom and the back of the body. This will allow the top panel to sit flush between the top edges of the side panels. Cut out your graphic panel, following the supplied guidelines. A fresh blade makes this task much easier. Paint the inside corners of the window frame area to block out any light that might shine through seams. Give your glazing panels a quick wipe to get any fingerprints 
or dust off the front surface. Cut the door and window glazing free of the carrier sheet. Hold the window glazing by the edges. Use a sharp point to catch the edge of the paper backing. Then pull the paper backing free. Insert the window into the opening in the body and set it flush with the inside face of the front panel. Insert the graphic and glue in place from the back side of the graph. Now set the door glazing panel in place without any glue. Then apply some glue to one or both edges of the door and glue in place. Applying a small amount of glue, only on the door edge, will ensure that you don't get any unsightly glue squeeze out during installation. These fine micron pens come in various nib sizes and colors. Use them to mark the outline of the push button and coin slot. If you want to blow people's mind, use a white, pre-wired, 12 volt micro LED to light the signage and bring the detail to life. Insert the LED into the slot in the body to the right height in the window opening. Fold the wires over when you have the right height and tack the lead wires in place with some glue. Make sure the LED lens is shining towards the front of the machine. Then tack it in place as shown. Test your LED and check for any light bleed around seams and edges. Now button things up by gluing the top panel in place. Now, stand back and admire your work. Then find a special place for your masterpiece on your layout. We hope you enjoyed following along. If you learnt one thing, then we are very happy. Thank you from Interaction Hobbies. Keep on modeling.